Morning guys, morning, morning, morning. Today, Nuts is going to the doctor. She's not feeling too well. Some test I can do. Also, Malika is not feeling well since yesterday. She had a fever last night and convinced that she had the flu. So we're taking them to the doctor. Um, get checked up. Nuts is not going to work today, so she's gonna be staying home. This one down here, so at my foot. It's good in case you guys are wondering. She's okay. Say hi, Malia. Say hi. Say hi. And I am good also, guys. Um, going gonna take them to the doctor right now before heading to work. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, just gonna show you guys what the day I have in store for us. Gonna take you guys along through the entire day. It's been a while since we've done a you know a full day in the life of. So that's what this video is going to be about today. So stay tuned. Outside is cold by the way, of course. Um, it's November. What date is it? November 7th? Yeah, November 7th. Um, outside looking like the middle of winter. Um, we started getting snow over the weekend, like a dump of snow. Um, so yeah, we'll show you guys what outside is looking like as well. And yeah, just stick around guys. Stick around for the ride. As you can see, Nash is getting Malia ready. And yeah, see you guys on the road. Guys, this is what outside is looking like this morning. That's ice by the way. This? <laughs> this is ice. Guys, as we said, 
with the shoes is not meant to be pretty you know it, it's meant to be effective you see it's not meant to be pretty it's meant to be effective guys welcome to our neck of the woods guys <laughs> oh my gosh so currently we're gonna go and drop off Malia at their home still so um, even though Nancy's gonna be home I don't know that so she don't feel good either so it's just Malia and her back at home we're gonna drop off Malia at our day home regardless because it's paid for it's paid for so yeah this is what the roads are looking like guys and yes guys it's still November it's the 7th of November just in case you guys are thinking that it's February or January the middle of winter so this is just the beginning <laughs> It's so hard. It's so hard to get a doctor's appointment here, guys. We'll talk a little bit more about that a little more in the video. Stay tuned, by the way. There's a road. Ice this one. Ice this one. Yeah, but show the one, man. Fuck. Yo! This is what we left our country for. In order to make it, in order to succeed, in order to make a better life for ourselves and our family. This is it guys. This is it. And nobody feel like sick. You can call him sick <laughs> when you look like this. Right? You have to go to work. Even if it's minus 45, minus 40. You have to rise up and shoot out. And shoot out. I know like especially in Jamaica. Little, little rain. Little rain and nobody not going to work. That is it different, right? That's what I swear. <coughs> snow? Oh, no, 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 no. oh, beautiful snow. Beautiful white Christmas. <laughs> Fairy tale movies. But they make it look like I just look a pulled up on the road. Guys, you know, it's terrible. No, I'm not this, I'm not trying to dissuade anyone. Don't get me wrong, you know. It's worth it. Because this is just one of four seasons. The spring is gonna come, summer is going to come, and fall is going to come again. So it's worth it still. I mean, I suffer through this for a period of time, and then the rest of it is worth it. So I was not like, I'm saying these things to like this way, anybody from coming. It's worth it, guys. I tell you that, it's worth it. Still show out and, and make an effort. Just be prepared. Be prepared. Mission number one as soon as I land, get a car. Mission number one. If you're in Alberta, don't get a car. Well, yeah, if you're in. Alberta, Manitoba. Not just these places, but, but it doesn't matter the province really, you know, so this car. We must get stirred everywhere so at some point. So, mission number one. But the difference is, the difference is, um, the difference is, some places have more transportation options. So you might be able to call a Uber, you might be able to get a train, you might be able to, you know, different things. That are the difference. But in a small town like Grand Prairie, where there is just one public transit bus system and private taxis that are too expensive, you have to get a car, guys. Otherwise, otherwise, your pocket, your pocket, I go burn you. Your pocket, I go burn you. But we attack for ourselves, so maybe we can afford it. You understand? And I like, everybody can afford it. Why not? <laughs>
um, just filled Malika's prescription. That was that's a whole story, right? So, uh, walking plate um, didn't take long. I um, was expecting to stay a little longer. Uh, she have a cold. She get antibiotic. And um, overall, the experience at the walking plate was crazy. Yeah, walking plane. Never too bad. So um, it's very hard, like the whole doctor thing and, and going to the doctor thing, different right here. So in Grand Prairie, um, that's one of the things that need improvements. If I'm being honest. Now, of course, you need a family doctor, right? You need a family doctor when you move to Canada. In most provinces, but we can't talk about Grand Prairie because Alberta is so right. So you have to get a family doctor, right? Otherwise you have to go to walk-in clinics, which is a pain sometimes. Now, choosing a family doctor, guys, is a process. Like, there's not many family doctors in Grand Prairie, so you only have a limited few. So you have to wait until you have new patients, or when a new doctor comes to Grand Prairie. But otherwise, it's a very difficult process. But one of the first things that you want to make sure is that you're, you're not seeking a family doctor. You want to be you want to be seeking a family doctor as soon as you land because they're gonna need one. Now, I don't know, that's not the, the experience wasn't bad. Now, we have been to a few walking since we've been here, and I think this is the best walking experience we have had since we've been here. So that's a plus. That's a plus. Now we we've been on the road for way longer than bargain for so now we're just taking us home and then me heading to work and guys outside not pretty not pretty at all okay what happened was what happened was the thing that squeezed on the power button kitchen is a mess so I'm gonna clean up Off this um, stove, give it a work, whatever. But anyways, um, let me tell you about the time when I almost got to college. Almost, yeah, when I was 19 years old, sign up, application, everything. But let me tell you what happened. I'll give you a backstory. So, when I was 18. Um, I think I was 18. I started working with the sugar company at Jamaica. I work at, work at the Money Most Factory. That's in Clarendon. Those are full big up to the Clarendon Massives. <laughs> um, I worked there for about seven to eight months. 
I worked there and in that same year I get laid off. Like they, they had redundancy. So everybody you know, um new new personnel taking over and all of that. So I laid off from the, that job and then I got another job working with the sugar transformation unit. That was a awesome job. Um and all of that. Uh, responsibility was to go around and see where the sugar workers was, you know, um, living and see what kind of assistance they could be given by previous sugar company or the owners. So I was a part of that team for a while. But because I was working for a short period of time with the sugar, um, the sugar company of Jamaica, I was part of that group too. So we get some money. Honestly, right now I don't remember how much money we get, but we get some money. We, we, yeah, we get some money, and that try remember. So I get some money from that. I honestly don't remember exactly the amount right now, but it, um, I had a friend that was going to NCU at this the time, and we were close, so we we're like best friends, and she was telling me she was doing IT and I wanted to do nursing and you know I'm like yeah man I got college I gotta do the first year trying to get the maths and you know do some prerequisites and stuff like yeah get some credits and you know try it to go on anyways get the farm fill it out doing medical you know just to submit have the money enough for the I think for the first semester or the first year I had the money to cover everything for the first year. But guess what I didn't cover? Food, living expensive, not like that. Books, nothing. <laughs> Girl never had a thing, but not like that. I was still thinking about school fee and just going to school. Didn't have that plan. But anyways, was so optimistic about like going to school i was going to school and i told a family member and right there the person turned to me and said where you gonna get money for that where you gonna live where you get money for that school how that i gonna work and right there it hit me i can't go to school because i have no way to live family member not gonna support me the, the money for that I had for the year or the semester, I'm not quite sure, but I had enough money to pay to start school. Wouldn't be able to 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 cover me for the length of time. So I just decided, say, you know what, I'm not going. Because that one family member decided say, yo, you can't go. So it wasn't a dream. It wasn't it wasn't that I didn't want to go, is that naysayers persons around you saying that where are you going to get things or where you're going to go or where you know the naysayers that's why i always say don't listen i reach that i reach a point in my life where you know it's anything that nobody anybody says don't affect me good bad the indifference nothing affect me right it's not like i didn't want to it's just listening to people so my advice to anybody watching this video do not listen to nobody in regards to chasing your dreams if your dream is to come to canada make it happen don't even tell them yeah don't even tell them go at it work at it people always say you can't because they know they can't or believe that they can't they believe that you can't. You so much can't in all that we just said a while ago. Yeah. There is stop saying you can't. Say you can. And I will. Words are powerful. Words are so powerful. And the words that you speak into your life, it's gonna guide you. If so it's bad, you're speaking out of your mouth, a bad gonna come back to you. Anything that you want, just go for it. Don't let nobody stop you.
So persons have been asking me also about my job. Um, how is it going? How I like it so far? Yeah. Um, it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, peeps. I love the job. I love the job. So I am a data entry clerk. Well, data entry, yes. Um, it consists of me basically fixing problems for this company in the sense where a person send on a daily basis person send me information to fix and i fix it and send it back and it's pretty easy but it, it's not i'm not saying easy no job is easy but it's real it, it's really good i love the job i wake up every morning looking forward to going to this place to work that's how good it is <laughs> Uh, I don't feel black. What I mean, I don't feel black in the sense that I don't remember that I'm a black woman or a black person or anything like that because these persons don't treat you because of your skin color. They, it is a very lovely environment. Anybody that come my Grand Perry, I think it's the best for immigrants. They will feel like they're a part of a team. I feel like I'm a part of a team. <laughs> and I'm just there. It's like, it is not like I've been working there for years. It feel like I've, it, feel, it feels that way, but no. The persons are so relaxed, but what I've learned um, past week is that they have not always been like that. Um, they realize that the culture, they change the culture in the sense of persons are more relaxed you know not to stock up and into themselves and all of that is an environment where if you walk in you will not know the boss because the boss is at the front line with everybody else if you walk in you will not know so you feel like a part of a team i don't I, oh my gosh as i said it's no it's right now it's minus what 16 18 i don't not even know snow out there and it is cold and i'm looking forward to going to work yeah i'm looking forward to going to work it's not like i'm complaining ah oh, the place is cool me get to put on my warm bed and god is a place all that not like that so that is how my job is going monday to friday weekends off so it gives a family time oh my gosh this place and the persons are so friendly and they're so loved oh my gosh Best place I've worked since being in Canada is the best. I know that all organizations are companies have their flaws. I haven't seen much, and that is good. You know, some places start work there and just start with all of the flaws, them, which is good when you can see all of the flaws them from first. But this, there's little, little flaws. I've seen persons complain about a few stuff, which, yeah, but can have perfection so yeah really good company monday to friday okay pay. <laughs> guys welcome back guys hopefully you guys enjoyed that video today i'm um, just leaving work just now it's now seven o'clock at night guys it's not easing up man it's non-stop it's non-stop anyways hopefully you guys remember to like the video Hopefully you guys remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And you know what guys, give the video a like. It really, really helps out the channel, you know. Until next time, see you guys in the next video, alright. Peace.